Welcome back, my most ethical crew, the best of the best, of the very, very best, light and love crew. Uh, it was just my most authentic crew that lives from the heart chakra. And, uh, you know, just to boil it down, right now we're going to have pho, okay? It's 4.55 p.m., and it is uh, the 19th. 18th? 18th. Hold on, let me check. Tis the 19th. Alright, so we're having pho leftovers. Um, and I'm excited about them because um, I, I only want to have like a half an hour lunch for work. Um, so um, I don't have the time to um, to do anything like big um and plus because I, like i move around a lot so anyway um like anything like really committed committed <laughs> um so anyway it, it's it's okay for my lunch it, it it does me justice i'd rather have my time so um what were we gonna say mm, hmm well, um, thank you to all my supporters, all my sponsors who have donated light and love, um, um, even simply with your presence. Thanks so very much. Um, hold on, I got, <laughs> it's hot. Can you see that? It's hot. Um, well, um, oh, 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 okay. Let's start this off. Angels of light and love, I welcome you into direct and protect these messages, our chakras, our auras, our space, um, our work, and that of our children's. Okay, so I did a little pre-reading, and I was super excited to tell you because I'm going to be, like, out of breath because I have a little bit of coffee, and I'm finally eating something substantial. And, um, and instead of, like, grazing throughout the day. Oh, I hear ringing 457. It's um, a muffled, high-pitched ringing in my right ear. There is a warning here. Give me a second. Give me a second. That is not. What do you want um, to tell me, angels? What's going on? It's, um, this one? Okay. You're supposed to um, burn some incense or something. Oops. <laughs> there's there's a that's a, there's a warning here, and I don't know what it's all about. Um, but yeah, I gotta be something you know um <laughs> spiders have been coming like i got two yesterday um in my room within like i don't know less than an hour of each other and <laughs> i don't get them but i got them for sure the first one um it was on my ceiling i got it and um smashed it and i was told to make <laughs> like because i couldn't scrape it off hold on quick give me a second Because I couldn't um, uh, um, clean it off of my ceiling. Um, it started smearing. I was like, what the frick? So then I decided, okay, well, that's the first direction I um, make when I'm writing a protection rune. So I made it out of its guts. And I was told to do that. So I did it. <laughs> and, um, and so I was repurposing its life transmuting it into demanding something awesome of it rather than mediocre and petty so that's what i did it was a it was a good thing for the greatest good including that whoever um was motioning to you know grant me ill will what they did was grant me peace they granted the world peace because i like it's wonderful and then another one was cre creeping up on the floor like to me like you know and i got it I got it. Um, it was uh, it was definitely sent here, and that one I definitely burned. I definitely burned that one. I smashed it and I burned it, and it felt it. Whoever was behind that, they felt it. Their spirit felt it, and that's what I was called to do. So, you know.
anyway, um, oh, so today, um, I got, um, a message, um, a confirmation that I was going to be able to move up, um, in my work, um, and I've, you know, in, in such a short time, which is great because it's something that I'm more, um, fit for, more, um, qualified for, and so, why not? So, that, that was wonderful to be able to see that, because I've, I've been with companies for years, um, working so hard, and it's just incredible how words can be twisted and, um, uh, switched over like hot potato between hands at different levels, and, um, yeah, so anyway, I got to get that. So, anyway, when I did a pre-reading, um, is it on my lap? Where, where did I put it? Oh, right here. Um, these three cards came out, which is, like, freaking bullseye. They, what is it, the a Aeon? Aeon? Yeah. Um, Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands, and then the Four of, um, Swords in Reverse. So this is wonderful because this is this is basically saying that um, it just didn't just pierce the bullseye like it didn't just like hit the middle, um, but the arrow was so sharp that it punctured the bullseye and went straight to recovery. So um, I'm getting back up on my feet, like very focused energy, and it wasn't like. It was, you know, the classic um, twin flame journey, but with um, <laughs> a profession. But you're just kind of leaving things open-ended, seeing how it works out. And, um, and then it just worked out, you know? Um, so that was wonderful. I really like that. And, um, and so let's go ahead and see what Spirit has to say, because uh, I feel like that was a good kickoff. Um, so I'm going to be able to start um, next week. I mean, any incremental changes uh, and incremental developments are wonderful. Even the changes are the silver lining. Um, because, oh, I have to tell you, um, I think I already told you. Um, things are just coming together. Uh, um at work, my experiences um, are personal, and you know, there's a dash of niceties in there, but I do know that there are visitors, and um, most of them, thank God, are are well wishers now. And um, it's funny; <laughs> it is so funny um, during the last few seconds that um, before they're leaving. And anyway, give me a second. Mm. I didn't want to fiddle with chopsticks. Mm. Seven of Cups, yeah. Insight. It's providing um, a different kind of clarity. Like an open door realm to many possibilities. Um... Now, this incremental improvement is um, when you calculate uh, the material aspects of it, it's not much more than, you know, than what's provided um, at current state. But if you look at the intangibles, as far as time is involved, the whole principle of getting my time back and not having to um, just that alleviation of, um, of added stress is giving towards what I am meant to do. Like, even if it's just like somewhat of a fraction to, because like, I'm still, you know, working part time. And that's what it's offering right now. So, um, I can't look at it as, oh, it, it all levels out. No, no, it, it, this is better so that I can devote more time, you know, 
whatever fraction that it, that is, I got it back, and I can invest that into um, the things that I'm I'm really really supposed to be doing. So that that's wonderful, and I'm excited about that. And that's really what it's showing me. Mm -hmm. It's the experiences, it's the intangibles, and it's manifesting too. Um, it's way to the tangible. So, um, it's, it's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. There are certain people that I do need to keep away from or that I need to keep distance and my guard up on because there's a, you know, there's greed, you know? Um, and you can't always present the ultimatum. Like it's either them or me. And, um, no, sometimes you just, um, Gotta live your truth in every gesture. So, um, you have a select crew um, that deserves, you know, a certain level of respect. And there are others that get the very bare minimum because that's what they've earned, you know? So, um, that's what they've called upon. Mm, so good. Mm. Go ahead. So, um, give me a second, give me a second. Sister of Water, Page of Cups, bringing in the love, bringing in the love, bringing in the love. Mm hmm. That's good. It's a hidden swan in turtle energy, or no, crane. You see? Yeah, swan or swan or crane and turtle energy. See that? Hmm. I think there's patience in, in in the approach because in all three spirit totems, there's an a degree of um, fragility in which you sh like and respect in approaching these three spirit totems. Mm -hmm. Like they deserve that, they warrant that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's good. So whatever that um, is supposed to embody that energetic. Um, Symbology, whatever that um, means for you, that's, I think that's very true. Because it's, it's true for me. <laughs> if it's not true for you, I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> okay. Mm. Judgment, resurrection. This is full recovery. Absolutely. Spirit doing the heavy lifting. <laughs> Spirit saying, brace yourself. You see the trumpet of the angels like on blast and Spirit's like, um, just kind of muffling the noise a little bit. Not the noise, but sorry, angels. <laughs> but um, um, it's so much. <laughs> There's so many accolades that the angels are giving us. And, um, and so we get to enjoy the <laughs> this um, playful visualization of spirits still trying to protect us, even from the angels like sounding trumpets. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like spirits coming through. Like, can you lower down the music before the the neighbors call the cops on us? Basically, yeah, that's funny. I've never been in those situations before, but um. According to what is it, weird science? I guess. <laughs> yeah. So spirit is very much alive in us, you know. Uh huh. Because I'm hearing it's alive. It's alive. From weird science. Mm hmm. Give me a second. Mm. Three of Cups, 
two of swords in reverse and knight um king of wands in reverse hmm oh even the players are coming through to congratulate us for sure but you remember players be players you know it doesn't mean that you need to like cast them out but players can still give respect i mean you know it, it's cool um yeah so but there's um clarity and therefore the coast is clear because you know when you resurrect from something you you earn a certain degree of knowledge you know like you have your phd your what a what md whatever um your jd whatever <laughs> um you gain a sense a, a degree of clarity that's what they're saying <laughs> very interesting what um there's something artistic about the words about our diction that it's not just intelligent but there's something playful about it mm -mm. Mm. yeah and i think they enjoy that <laughs> they very much enjoy that um yeah this is this is great it's, it's it's the three of cups is labeled as the stream of love oh talk about um stream of love um so when it comes to like the players you know doing like the whole pissing contest thing it's um it's more like you know like when you, you laugh so hard that you piss your pants it's basically like that like oh my gosh like this girl moated me <laughs> this girl out moated me and um and so like they're kind of like having a laugh these are past people right um that they they think it's actually very funny that we got this far i mean it, it's it's in a good vibe so they're they're paying us respects on that it's like it's a reverse roast like they got roasted uh -huh. mm. that's 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 cute that's true mm -hmm. um i'm thinking about a second oh sorry <laughs> time to have a bit of brisket here oh, excuse me i don't want to eat jalapeno <laughs> Mm. That's funny. So this new face. Oh, I got to tell you. I don't know what this world is up to, but it is insane. I must be manifesting like on fleek, on point, however you want to call it, um, because. There was this other reader that I um that was new to me um that I st I started like viewing her stuff and she um and I noticed that her personality was starting to, like I started seeing depictions of almost like copycat energy you know like flattery is the best what is it um what is it copying imitation is a most sincere form of flattery or something like that it's the truest form of flattery i guess um and so but i didn't really see it that way because there's in like there's inauthentic i could i could see there was something about it that was not right and, and even though her readings were accurate and um they just, how do I say it? I don't think she can, she realizes that she could hold her own being herself. Cause I already saw an essence of her that worked definitely for her, but to copy something like an essence of mine was just not, it wasn't like really done out of honor. It, it was something about it that was just definitely not right. And, and so, um, and she also, the, the, the pro to that, to that con was, um, to balance things out, I felt was that 
she um, would listen to when the reading would say, like, don't dig any further, you know. But I realized at the level that I'm at, I don't need to relearn um, compromising energy. I, I shouldn't let, um, I shouldn't compromise myself um, at all to what I deserve. And I deserve a, like a firm circle of friends, people who are authentic within their own being. Um, and, and I know like, okay, the story of oneness and all of that, but there was something not right about it. And I, I don't know how to explain it as well as I normally do, but I had to let it go. I had to make a, a firm decision. I was, cause she has a certain, um, base style that worked definitely for her and that's why I liked going to her um but then I just I decided like I held myself back and I was like no I deserve better I deserve um people who are um genuine within their own like not just good readers and not just um people who can respect what the you know divine says about um moving forward or pausing or stopping in a reading. Um, I deserve better than that. Um, and so I, I just, I just didn't go. And it only took like, dude, like two or three days where I started wondering like, hmm, like what's going on with that person. And I, I peeped and in my history, I see zero imprint of her at all like there's no there's no history of her at all it is it's insane to me i i could not find her <laughs> at all it just disappeared so that was definitely a test and then number two um i still can't find my wire cutters i really like i really really feel like somebody was here and they accidentally took them thinking it was you know part of their stuff because that was like the only like man tool that I had um you know like heavy duty and I don't like I'm not really phased by that which I probably should because if somebody broke into my home you know Trent you know um the angels will take care of all that whatever you know but I guess, like, I'm not spiffed about it because when I bought another pair, dude, that shit worked magically. Like, made my life freaking easier because before it was like, eh, 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 eh. they were just like pliers with like cutting ends, but I had to like wean it off. And now it's just like, whoop. <laughs> and so, like, I, I was like, water under the bridge. <laughs> So, um, you know, the angels decided that it was going to be better off that way, <laughs> arrange shit like that. So if karma is due, karma is due. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's part of like the updates that I have. Hmm. What else do you want to say, honey? Hmm. So that's interesting. Nine of wands or nine of fire. It's eye of fire. Um, you know what this means? This is um a new learning, a new totem pole just um erected for us, a new achievement unlocked. It's knowing how to um, stand correct in several situations. You don't get this um, badge, um, this Girl Scout badge for um, a single item. This is a cumulative review type. These are like the elite badges, the upper crust badges, <laughs> like that are gilded, like in gold. <laughs> I think gilded means gold. 
gold dipped, but you know, <laughs> outlined um, in gold embroidery. Mm. But yeah, that's what's happening there. Oh, you know, it like the picture that I'm getting is when someone is enlightened in the tarot imagery, um, they show rays around the head. So it's like that. A, su a new level of um, awareness for, I'm hearing, Sue, like a Peggy Sue, you know? The plain Jane has developed into something way more than just a stick figure, so. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um... Yeah, that's funny, Sam Craig. Ten of fire. Holy smokes. The cage. Stand correct and also um repurpose those wands um as like in a different perspective. So um you know like um instead of being like a sideshow, you know, like a because we're carrying like on so much of a burden or so many burdens. It looks like we're some like circus, like some sideshow, like some hot mess trying to carry all of these wands in this in this crazy heat. And um, instead, we decided, oh, okay, we can still like modify our transit to um, to being more purposeful. So what do we do? Um, we get this cart with some like holes on you know each end of the base. We like a wheelbarrow, okay? We stick the um, wands in there, and it turns out to be a cage. So it becomes um, like a fortified wheelbarrow. Like it's working itself. It's working out on its own. Um, the supposed burdens um, are repurposed into um, um, an enhanced vehicle <laughs> that can be like um um separated and um used for just what they were meant um for upon the destination so <laughs> this is wonderful this is i've never seen the ten of wands like that until now mm -hmm. so it's like as above so below like the elevator go up elevator go down um seeing the gray area the silver lining and then um manifesting that um into um something uh life-giving vivid mm -hmm. um as below i like it i like it it's so good and um this is very protective on its own because if we have to cage um something that it like holds something that is um that needs to be tamed or um, sleeping quarters um, for our um, our familiar. Let's say um, we we have that ability. Mm -hmm. We have that ability to take um, others with us. Oh my gosh! Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. So it's not a hundred percent a cage. It just kind of looks that way. Um, so maybe some people feel um, held hostage by your energy because it's so strong. <laughs> okay. Mm. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Nine of Swords in reverse. Mm, no. Nope. People don't, it might look that like that from the outskirts. Um, like some people might say like, oh, you're pussy whipped or you're, um, you're, what do you call it? A sm, sm, holy smokes. I don't even remember what that thing is called. Um, where you sm, swoon over a girl and it's, it's, it's not cute in saying like it's smitten. What do people say when they, um, when they are into a a girl and they oh gosh it begins with an s i don't use that word because i don't have any use for it but it's 
simp. Holy smokes. God, free. Um, yeah, so, um, people might, you know, haters might say that kind of thing. Um, and, you know, that's only just, just to breed, like, insecurities. You know, people, it's an at-will relationship, seriously. And, you know, when you cross my path, there's equal respect. Um, if not, you get more than what you deserve. Um, but this is um, Queen of Cups, Intuitive Bodies, and not sweating yet. Um, so, again, it doesn't really matter what other people think about that. Um, so, about the hostage situation. Um, oh, you know what I'm hearing? Nobody knows the trouble I feel. Nobody knows the sorrows. That kind of thing. So, those people that are supposedly simping or whatever, held hostage, um, um, their troubles are not understood, obviously, by these people, these name callers, right? Um, but I, I definitely understand it. And, um, so that's, that's truly what matters, you know? Um, having people who can, um, lend a situation grace and understand you. Mm -hmm. Not, not the bullshit energy, you know? Not being the brunt of laughs, you know? Um, yeah. So it looks like, you know, kind of like flying a kite type of energy. You know, not sweating it. Mm -hmm. It was good stuff. I like it. Okay. Um. Let me see if I can do a picture in the hole. Oh, shit. Sorry. She's a... If I'm not attractive while eating, it's okay. Three of Pentacles works. There's protection and in, in creation by the Divine Trinity, as well as like this um, kind of witch's rune. It's also very bullseye targeted, um, kind of like a um, assassin energy. Um, it's um, what do you call it? Um, definitely, yeah. Like, point blank, your work, um, is very admirable. Tina and your crew. <laughs> definitely. So, um, it's rewarded as such. This is a new world. Like, <laughs> don't bear on the burdens of the, uh, don't bear on the expectations, which are definitely burdens from a previous realm. <clears throat> the tower moment. Mm -hmm. Just as I was saying, as we were saying. Hmm. Hmm. I already forgot what song was we just sang. <laughs> I, I already forgot. What the heck? How did I forget? That's okay. All right. Anything else you want to say, Spirit, before I move into, um, I guess, grabbing one from the Isis Oracle? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have the struggle. Five of Wands accentuated. Um, hmm. Remember, like, the box, how it's kind of, like, elbow room, kind of just um, jutting your way out, breakthrough? It's what the star has to do as well. So, um, it's it's a little bit of a struggle energetically, um, because that's just the nature of the beast. Um, but that's, all that's saying is that we're going to, like, beast mode within our star energy. It's so good. It's so good. Um... I'm seeing like Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I don't know because it's like the 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 stars are like twinkling or spinning like a kaleidoscope. Picture yourself 
in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and marmalade skies, that kind of thing. Somebody answers you answer, or somebody, something you answer quite slowly. A girl with kaleidoscope eyes. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Cellophane flowers of yellow and green towering over your head. Remember we had daffodils, right? Look for the girl with the sun <laughs> in her eyes and she's gone. Bump, bump, bump. And that does that. What? Bottom of the deck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Four reels. The pool card. That's insane. And it looks like she's actually wearing um, Girl Scout badges, kind of. Because like, it's on a green sash, too. And, um... And, um... But I think they're bells. Do you see that? That's interesting, okay. Top of the deck is Brother of Water. Knight of Cups. So there's, um, this is, um, this is like saving the day. <laughs> like headliner. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, we're banging. Yeah, headliners. Oh my gosh. Um, temperance. Things are balanced. Things are, hmm. Mm, it's something like somebody has some knee issues like their right knee is um has been acting a fool but um it's kind of like there's regeneration here like new life given you see it's like tapped into there on our right knee our right leg so there's almost like sagittarius energy in here about moving forward with on the right foot and again like the pinwheel thing i wanted to say that this kind of reminded me of a pinwheel um but yeah, this is definitely Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Um, okay, I'm going to take that out. I want to see what's behind her. Mm, four of Wands in Reverse. Okay, so that's um, the root structure. Mm -hmm. Building strong foundations. I like it. All right, let's put this um, down. Um, so whatever it is we are manifesting, it is... Um, like the hardest gem diamonds mm -hmm. <laughs> spirit is saying you know like you know instead of saying that we're gangster saying that we're like the hardest gem <laughs> that's funny intellectually i guess a warning ringing in my right ear. I don't know. N. It felt kind of like a Z. Um, maybe some of you guys are from New Zealand. Mm. I don't know. Okay. O A Q E Y N X A E O N N R J E A A E G Q I T T E M E uh, Janie Jamie Anya um, Yoni um, Aaron uh, different spellings of that um Jar jargon, hmm. Anita, Tina, Trina, Gina, Gorin, Nina, Nana, Nanai, Ron. Rage, Ronnie, Ernie, Aaron, 
Artie, Arnie, Ten, Any, Yeah. Oh, the, you know what they're saying? That, that, because it's like ten, any, yeah, it's already written there. So, um, any ten that we get, we should be, like, very proud of. Like, in, um, so ten, it, it contributes to our destiny. i um, looking at the major arcana. But anything in the minor arcana, that's also ten, which is, like, the ten of wands, uh, what we just went through here. Ten of swords, um, what happens before, um, the phoenix rises, um, um, the pre, um, existing conditions of what activates Aang and his avatar abilities. Um, Ten of Cups, obviously, and Ten of Pentacles, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we should be very proud of that. I see Ro, R-O-E. I see waning, like the waning moon. I don't know why. Um, I guess I need to put that up. I also see Wayne, the name. Um, I hardly ever get Wayne. Um, okay, let's write that in. <laughs> um, waning. I also have waxing. Moon. Yeah, I have... You can actually spell moon. Um, so something about manifestations on the in-between. So it's not just the full or the new moon. Yeah, definitely. It's about the in-betweens um, that we got something to learn about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gain. Mm. Um, Tenna, Ren, Renny, Remy, um, Gary, Annie, Anna. <clears throat> Edda, Otto, Elaine, Nanny, Orion, um, hmm, gate, I think, um, um, something about Lionsgate portal, um, Jane, Joran again, Ronan, Mary, Marge, Margaret, no, wait, no, there's only one R, but if we have Marge, we have Margaret, um, Marnie, Marie, Maria, Egret. We have an Egret here. Hmm. Um, I I have Xanax, but there's not a second X. But I I really feel like there's something, um, hidden here. Um, I feel like there might be an overcoming of. Xanax addictions. I don't. I don't remember what Xanax does. Um, <clears throat> I 
merit. I feel like where I'm supposed to put merit. Mm -hmm. Um, nanny, granny. Oh, we have our granny here. For sure, we have our granny here. I, I really feel like it. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Someone's a Texan here. Hmm. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been on twenty percent for Frozen, but um, Taj. It could be somebody's name, but also, um. It could be the Taj Mahal. Um, and I think the Taj Mahal was like a formal like burial like for the royalty. I, I don't remember. Sorry. I, I don't 100% remember. But something about the Taj Mahal here. Okay. I don't know why, but okay. I'm supposed to put it. Okay. Um I see no one here. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Um I know that's two words, but I don't know why it's telling me to do that. Um something about noon also. Um, maybe you had, um, a very striking grandmother because it's sharing one of the ends, like something about that. No one else quite like her, um, which is great. Mm -hmm. Um, I also see next. You know what our grandma is saying? <laughs> that, um... No one can hold a candle to us, to our light. Because it's next, it's sharing with no one. Um, so it's like no one is next in line when it comes to you. Like there's nobody comparable, comparable to us. And that's why, um, you know, I, I don't know. That's what it's saying here. Um, So we have a lot of emotional intelligence and able um, to be able to uh, conduct Q&As. Like we can go through interrogations um, with ease um, as well as um, like interviews, basically. Um, we've grown to that level. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Because an interview is done bilaterally at this point, okay? So we're not, like, hungry for other people to accept us. We have to know, do we vibe with them? Do they vibe with us? Like, that's for them to answer. <laughs> we got to answer, do we vibe with them, you know? So um, we can definitely feel things out and... Whether or not people take accountability for certain things, you know, that's that's their news story. But newsflash to us, we are where we are <laughs> for a very particular reason. And we're not going to compromise that energy. Okay. I keep getting Jane here. Um, you know, like, um, the story, like, see Dick um, and Jane, like, you know, that kind of thing. So, um see Jane run that kind of thing so um oh gosh <laughs> excuse me so Jane is learning um to be more than a doe by doing <laughs> yeah definitely 
definitely. That's 100%. No more Jane Doe's. No more being lost in the shuffles of others. No. Here it says no. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? We have Q E A E left. We have Zena. Um. Um, hmm. T. Where did this go? Oh my goodness. Axe. Oh. Yeah. Um, those that. How do I say it? Because it's cool for people to be inspired but to straight up like try to steal your essence is not like cool beans so um you ax that energy out like no that's what they're saying anyone who's trying to like be the next us is no it's not acceptable um so I have Q and E left so there's Independent emotional intelligence. That's what they're saying. Because we have a double time here. Like, people recognize that within us, um, that ability, but we don't... How do I say it? Spirit is saying that we are not... Um, it's meant to serve more than just other people. Um, it's meant to serve us to like as um a tool a resource to get us to our answers closer to our answers so it's not like we're just tap dancing for other people like we're not just tap dancing um for the reward of like looking great or whatever it's supposed to be resourced as um a tool um that helps us get to where we need to be like gain traction Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it helps us navigate. That's what they are saying. All right, that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you. Okay, there it is. So there it is. Okay. Do, 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 do. And then all of that stuff. Okay. So. Now that this reading is officially um, on its way to close, I thank all my sponsors and supporters yet again for donating um, your time. Well, you know your love and light. Um, but now that this reading is officially over, um, upon closing all portals, I send all energies back to your appropriate locations with your appropriate karmas to helping initiate that sequence of development of that rollout. Thanking you for respecting my time, my space, my energy, my work, and that of our children's. Enlighten love. I close all portals. Now.